um, the story is about the goddess Demeter, who was the ancient Greek goddess of fertility. And some of you might have heard of Persephone, and you know, Persephone with the pomegranate. So at this point, Persephone has been kidnapped and she's been taken to the underworld by Hades. And Demeter is searching for her and searching for her. She can't find her anywhere. She's, you know, getting to the point where she's really desperate um, and, and really, really sad and really kind of giving up. Um, and so she's, she's had enough, she's cursing the ground, she's hitting the ground and very dramatic saying, die, die. And this kind of resulted in a curse that at the time fertility stopped, no, Demeter stopped, fertility stopped and no child could be born. So this is where we're at. Demeter stood still in the same place. Her clothes were muddy, her hair ravished. Still, even if there was a great pain in her heart, she did not give up. After countless searches with no result, she ended up falling down next to a well in a village where no one knew her. While leaning her stiff body against a cold stone, a strange woman approached her. That woman was completely naked and she approached Demeter dancing, moving her hips sensuously in a manner resembling the act of lovemaking. She was also obscenely moving her breasts, her thighs and her arms. When Demeter saw her, she almost couldn't refrain herself and a smile <laughs> arose on her face. In fact, the woman who made the goddess Demeter smile was actually a magical and humorous creature in her own way because she had no head and her eyes were where her nipples should have been and her vulva where her nose and mouth should have been. So through that unimaginable mouth, the magical creature began entertaining and delighting the goddess Demeter, telling her loads of completely shameless, erotic stories, jokes, pleasantries, the first Demeter smiled, then she started laughing. <laughs> and in the end, she couldn't help herself, but have this strong, deep laughter just coming from her abdomen. And so the two women, the shameless goddess of the Yoni, Baobo, and the strong goddess of earth fertility, Mother Demeter, were just laughing out loud in unison. And this celebration of laughter that Demeter had had through the help of Balbo took her out of that depression and gave her back the energy for carrying on the search um, for her daughter. And so she did, and she found Persephone and the earth became fertile and all of the, the women became fertile once more. Um, so what we've just done is actually really traditional. <laughs> it's a little taster, but it's really traditional. Women in ancient societies would often get together and talk about, uh, I mean, women do it now. Sometimes they get together and they talk about men and, you know, what their husbands are like in bed or some of them, not all, <laughs> and, uh, you know, have a bit of a laugh. Um, but this actual shameless storytelling is, is a very traditional practice and it was a way for women to get together and to release inhibitions, to release stress, to laugh. As you know, I'm sure all of you know, laughter is extremely good for us, extremely good for women, releases a lot of hormones, helps us to alchemize lower emotions. Um, so uh, yeah, this, uh, this shameless storytelling and, and this connecting with uh, this goddess who just expresses you know, just purely expresses, unashamedly expresses this, the energy of the yoni and this powerful energy of feminine eroticism. Um, yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's a really, a really strong tradition and one that really connects us as women to the power of laughter, the power of shamelessness, the power of being together, the power of the yoni. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot.